So what I'm going to do today in this particular video is I am going to show you how to do airbrush makeup. Now, airbrush is a, t is a, a thing that's not relatively new been around popular for the last 10 years, but it's actually 30 years old. A fun fact, the first makeup artist that ever used an airbrush machine on a major motion film was Beetlejuice. Happens to be a friend of a friend of mine, and that movie won a what? An Academy Award because the makeup used an airbrush machine and also the makeup was awesome. So we've been doing airbrush that long. It's not as new as people think it is, but it's become popular for the everyday person and for the makeup artists over the last 10 years. So I want to show you how to do airbrush foundation, okay? Now, it's so, so simple. It's point and spray. Let me say that one more time. It is point and spray, unless you are doing special effects makeup. If you're doing special effects makeup or you're doing body makeup, it's more than point and spray. There's a lot of precise things that go to it. There's a lot of contour and highlighting or a lot of creation that happens. But if you're just doing normal foundation and you're doing it for like a wedding or a prom or even for television and film, it's point and spray. My model has no makeup on right now, okay, and she has great skin. But when you're doing um, airbrush application, you want to also use a primer or an eyeshadow, and I'm sorry, <laughs> say that one more time. You want to use a face primer or you want to use a uh, moisturizer on the skin. So, I'm going to use my mixing palette. I'm going to put the moisturizer on my mixing palette. And I'm going to use a foundation brush to put it on her skin. Again, if you're at home, you can just put it on your skin with your hands if you want to. If you want to be fancy, you can use a foundation brush like I am right now. And we're going to put it over the entire skin. And the reason why you want to do that for airbrush foundation is because you want to make sure that the skin is moisturized so that the foundation sticks to it just a little bit better. Because it is a very, very light consistency, you want to make sure that the skin is covered. Now what normal foundations are for airbrush foundations is a very, very full coverage foundation that's sheared out to a millimeter, okay? Some are silicone based, which is basically a high, high quality, very, very safe plastic base, and some are water based. If it's silicone based, it normally maybe need a little bit of a heavier makeup foundation to remember to come off. If it's water based, it's gonna come right off. The foundation we're using today is a water based foundation. All right, so that's step number one. Now we're going to come over here and get my airbrush machine. This is a fancy airbrush machine. They have a whole different ones on the market, all right? But you want to get an airbrush machine that has temperature control on it, all right? And that, so the temperature control valve is right here so that you can have the pressure to be either concentrated or less concentrated. And you want to make sure that when you turn it on, it gets a little bit of pressure into it. As you see that, you see I turned it on a little bit? You want that to happen. This has nothing in it. All right, so what we're gonna do is now that we know our airbrush machine works is we're gonna take a few drops of our foundation and we're gonna drop them into our airbrush machine. And I'm gonna mix two colors together because the great thing about an airbrush machine is it mixes it for you. Look at that, you don't even have to mix it yourself. So I'm gonna put two drops of a color that's a little bit darker and I'm gonna put the lid on it. Some airbrush machines do not have a lid. And then you wanna do a test run, so you wanna turn it on. See, you want the air to get in there. And you want to make sure that it sprays out, all right? And make sure it's the concentration that you want. If you want it to be a little bit heavier, then you want to make it a little bit darker. All right? So now that we have the foundation in here, again, it is point and spray. Now, for your model, it feels like somebody is spitting on your face, okay? All right? Cold spit. So close your eyes for me. You want to have them close their eyes, and you just want to spray the foundation on the skin. It is going to be the sheer, most natural that you can do. It almost looks like she has nothing on her face, but if you get really close, you see that foundation is actually coming out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you see it's her same complexion, point of spray. Now the closer that we get, see, see how she has a little bit of a, a blemish there? We're gonna get a little closer, that's gonna give you a little more concentrated, and then we're gonna come back. Closer for any of the blemishes that she has, a little bit closer, and then we're gonna come back. If you get too close, you'll get a straight line. Sorry, love. <laughs> but because this color is still her foundation color, it's not gonna be as dramatic. Again, this is a water-based foundation. Hold your lips in. Beautiful. We're gonna make sure that we get underneath the her lip area, around her nose area. All right? And I'm gonna come right back underneath her eyes, just to smear. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Open. Look at that airbrush foundation. Now. 
The next thing you're going to do after that is you want to let it dry down just a little bit because again it is a liquid foundation and it is a water-based foundation. And then you want to set it with a powder, okay? So because airbrush foundation is a full coverage, a medium to a full coverage foundation, meaning that if I put that entire bottle on her face it will look like you have on makeup, okay? And if we put a little bit on it will make it look like she's really finished and polished but it won't look makeup-y. You have to put a light colored powder over top of it, meaning a pressed powder or a block powder. So I'm going to use a block powder. And what block powder does is just takes the shine off your face and adds a little bit of color or no color at all. I'm going to put it on a big stippling brush, okay? I'm going to just buff it into her skin. Stippling means to do small circular motions. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you do the one side, you have to do the other. Beautiful, beautiful. And as you see, the black powder looks like there's a color that wouldn't match her skin. But it is. It really does. Because again, it just takes a shine off your face. It really doesn't deposit any color at all or a little bit of color. Open look all the way up for me. Beautiful, amazing, outstanding. One more time. Beautiful, amazing, outstanding. Now, if somebody had dark circles underneath their eyes, again, you can't have them open their eyes and airbrush underneath their eyes, but you shouldn't do that. You would just take a little bit of the foundation and come underneath her eyes and curves a little bit. And as you see, the blemish still didn't come back. That's how easy airbrush is. Point and spray. Now, you want to clean your airbrush machine. So what you want to do when you clean your airbrush machine is you want to take water first, just some regular water. You're going to put that in your machine and you want to blow that all the way out to make sure that all the color comes out of it. And then they make airbrush cleaners that will you know, condition your machine. So you want to put a little bit of that airbrush cleaner in it. If you don't have an airbrush cleaner, 99% alcohol will clean it right out as well. And you want to make sure that all the chambers are clean so that when you don't have any clogs or if you have to put another color on that's lighter or darker, it won't get messed up. All right, so make sure that you clean your machine once you're done your makeup application. And if you have to do multiple makeup applications, at the one time I would suggest you buy multiple makeup guns, okay? All right, or airbrush guns. That's what they're called. I didn't make up that name. Hope that you learned how to airbrush today, okay? But it's point and what? Point and spread. Point and spread. It's that difficult.